Welcome back guys. So today I'm gonna react to uh Hunt Showdown developer update 1.15. Design director for Hunt Showdown. Today we want to walk you through our new winter update 115. In this video, we'll be talking about new weapons, our exciting new wild like new guns. Ash Bloom, changes to our progression system, new weapon inspect animations, and a ton of additional improvements to Hunt Showdown. Let's get started with all the new equipment we're adding with update 115. First, let's talk about the Caldwell Pax True Shot, a long barreled variant of. Oh, finally! Finally, they, they're gonna add more packs. I actually like the packs. So, this is a new variant, I think. Uh, so, the packs True Shot. So, let me guess. So, the, are the other pistol gonna get True Shot variants also? Maybe a. Uh, uh, uppercut True Shot? Of the trusted packs revolver that's it gonna be fun fire rate for additional punch and accuracy we're also adding high velocity custom ammo for the entire packs family oh high velocity on packs that's really really good at the same time to increase versatility by the way high velocity ammo is really cheap should always get them unless you like more ammo i mean easy to get ammo because it it's gonna change your ammo type to special so anyway it's a secondary weapon so doesn't Next, matter let's get close and personal introducing the katana a powerful oh my god we have the weeb weapon the ultimate weeb weapon is here for new bladed melee weapon its light attack matches the heavy attack of the machete while its heavy attack matches that of the calorie saver it is the first weapon supported by our new trait Mar what what is this allows katana to shield which enables first strike attack does not that does extra damage oh my god this is uh uh what do you call this samurai <laughs> x uh hidden draw technique Marshalless, which enables a very yeah, but i i really don't like that for example this freaking perk it only applies to the katana so and that's a waste see perks use uh, uses slots okay so if you use this you're wasting one slot and that slot can only be used on this weapon unique first strike attack from the sheath that does increase damage with a wide arc we're happy to announce that we are also adding the legendary version of the katana for all owners of the shrine maiden cell deals all right that's good that's really good at least they are giving katanas with the DLC. See, within a short time after update 115 goes live. There are more weapons coming with update 115, so let's move on and have a look. The Dodge 96 family sees custom ammo in the form of the FMJ and Dum Dum rounds for the. F okay, it's a Dodge. I don't really use the Dodge because it's too freaking expensive. Yeah, I guess it's fine. First time, and it's complimented. Oh my god, we have the Star Wars Dodge. The Dodge with the Dead Eye. So this is another head clicker. Uh, I wish they put the dead eye on the the dolch with the with the butt stock. That's I think that the dolch with the butt 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 stock. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, I wish they have a scope for that. To buy two additional variants: the dolch dead eye and the dolch claw. The oh my God! There's another melee dolch. I don't really like the claw variants oh my god the drilling so the drilling has a hand cannon they have a short shorter version but it's still expensive look at that that's 430 okay i think you can buy a a mousine with that but it's but it only uses two slots so i think it's good but still it's still very expensive Drilling rifle has been a great success in the community, and with its new hand cannon and hatchet medium slot variants, hunters are able to incorporate the flexible drilling into even more loadouts. You know what? I wish the drilling. So when you shot your your what uh, your two medium ammo, I wish it automatically switched the shotgun. Lastly, we're adding the Lamat Mark II carbine marksman. Oh As my God, the Lamat carbine! With a freaking scope. You know what? I'm not really fan of the Lemat. Uh, this one is probably is the 
Is this the long ammo version? It's... I don't like it. I don't like... I don't like the marksman variants either. It's too zoom in. Scoped version of the revolver carbine, which combines... So I think this is the first scope shotgun in-game. Close range firepower with position over distance. We have taken this opportunity and looked closer at the entire Lamad family. The short underbarrel shotgun has been upgraded to be similar to a single shot from a rival hand cannon and... Okay, that's really good. Regular ammunition now has an increased muzzle velocity, which will... Increase muscle velocity on every every Lamad. Okay, that's also good, even though I don't really use this gun. Help the carbine variance at distance. We are also adding even more custom ammo types. Wait, what? Uh, what resolution is this? So some of the existing weapons so make sure to check out the patch notes for the full details all of these new weapons by the way the patch notes it's not yet available right now so i can actually look at it will be first available during the tide of desolation event before they roll into the regular unlock progression as usual once the event has finished next year okay traits. in the last update we introduced shadow as a rare burn trait that can only be found in the world yeah in you know what shadow i think i only found it like four times the whole freaking event we are now bringing back two more burn traits in the same way relentless and death cheat relentless oh my god that cheat is back uh you know what i really don't care about these burn traits unless you're farming meatheads it's very rare to find these things this either way they they also get burned when you die so you from it's losing fine. health bar when down the next time while death cheat will save your so that dead cheat will save your hunter, but you still lose your equipment, so it's fine. Plus, it can only be used once. So what what happens when you get like three dead cheat? Hunter once when returning to the lobby after being killed. Both burn traits are one-offs and destroy themselves after use. With no, update one fifty, I really don't care about the inspect animation. You Not know I wish they put the inspect at the default inspect inspect button other than i because i is too far so i need to move my hand a little bit to the to the right just to press inspect i wish it was somewhere like t or y maybe or maybe z it's not even the z is not even used we're rolling out a second batch of our fantastic weapon inspect animations. This is our biggest batch so far, as all rifles and shotguns, including all the legendary variants, can now be inspected in detail when equipped. We hope you enjoy them as much as we do. Next, let's talk about Ash Bloom, our exciting new dynamic time of day that is introduced as a wildcard condition. Okay, it's another weather event. It's fine. Light mist will rapidly transition to... So it looks like this... Uh... Descendant, Descendant Evil filter. A heavy and penetrable fog when ash drifts up. Something strange is in the air as animals get very agitated and dogs continue to bark endlessly during heavy fog. This corruption appears to be spread. So the dogs continuously bark during the ash bloom? Okay. Spreading through the bayou, sickening some of the trees and crops even when ash bloom doesn't show its hand. From update 115 on, we are introducing an updated bloodline progression, making it more exciting and faster to unlock new equipment and traits and earning a fair bit of extra hunter loss along the way. The biggest change is that all base weapons are now available from rank 1 at the start. Wow, that's really huge. Since I am prestiging all the time, having all the base weapons unlock, that's really huge. So uh, I think I can use the Nitro instantly, uh, given that you can have the money for it that's really good so having the base variant so which means i can use the martinery henry at level at blood, blood light uh when you first prestige you can use them instantly part of the game variants and custom ammo is still unlocked by using any weapon of the same family killing monsters targets and other hunters with them tools consumables and traits are now all unlocked by ranking up your bloodline oh that's really good so there's so the blood rank they just give you the tools and the consumables so no more using the the what do you call this the uh the vitality shots i think it was like use 15 vitality shots to unlock the next variant 
so no more no more that and also the grenades so it looks like this the nade is only at blood rank 41 so we just need to press uh increase our blood rank no need to do anything special that's really good each occupying a specific rank you have to reach to gain access to them. You no longer need to unlock new variants by using them a certain amount of time. See, that's that's a really good update. They are all lined up nicely along the Blood Nine progression main path, with many also available at rank 1 right away. We have also taken this opportunity to streamline some of the existing traits in the game. We oh yes, this is really good. Uh, so now all the irons, iron type they're just one trait. We have combined some of them into single traits to increase the chance to fire. Iron Dead Eye. I like this art. Uh, I wish they will just... Uh, I wish we when we highlight this perk, it, it will highlight the weapon if it's compatible or something. Sometimes it's still confusing. Find a trait matching your gear and playstyle. Hunter recruits are now presented as more meaningful, ready-to-play packages that even come at a discount. You will find their traits and gear matching wonderful wait so they're they're also discounted this time fully now each also coming with a melee tool and first aid kit guarantee oh finally they all come with a melee and a med kit even better recruiting them saves you a juicy 25 percent of the cost of their equipment over individual purchases that's really good legendary hunters have also been made cheaper to recruit and always come with what legend legendary hunter is now only a hundred bucks that's nice rates of a minimum value or additional free upgrade points to spend at will, being a fair alternative to the heavily discounted regular recruits. Free recruits are now only available if you are sitting below twenty thousand hundred dollars. Okay, so the free recruits will only show show when you have less than twenty k. Uh, so we cannot farm the free recruits anymore. I think it's fine. I don't think I rarely go above twenty k. However, when below five thousand hundred dollars, additional free recruits. Oh, that's really good. So they give you, wait, the free recruit has perks. They have perks. Look. Okay, this makes this makes a free recruit really good. Come available for a greater variety of free options to get you out of the woods faster. To help with progressing your bloodline faster, workbenches can now be found in many compounds. Okay, so that's that's the uh workbenches on always spawn so there's a guaranteed maybe there's a guaranteed on every compound that there will be a workbench on it this is where blueprints and gun oil can be found exclusively now oh that's really good so no more looking around for blueprint and gun oil gun oil has been reworked to instantly progress to the next matching unlock for the weapon in your hand oh finally you know what the cleaning clean clean your gun that's a really stupid th thing to do doesn't do anything uh, at least now the gun oil gives you something good and and if none are available grant you one random unlock from the arsenal nice random unlock i like it blueprints now always grant you three random unlocks and oh my god they buff blueprint uh blueprint usually just gives you one unlock from your current that uh, but now i think the blueprint only gives you three random unlock that's actually pretty huge because sometimes when you find the blueprint and you use your weapon or consumables uh or tools and you can't use them because you already unlock everything for that tool or consumable now it's just gonna give you three random unlock that's really good that's a really good update we have done some layer changes to the compounds and removed all of the generators they've all what no more generators? Uh, how do I feel about this? So there's no more generators. Okay, it's fine. Uh, the generator was so noisy anyway. Always been in a bit of an odd spot causing a lot of noise for little game. Electric lights will remain and are still either set randomly on or off at missions. Okay, so the lights are either on or off. Uh, I wish they put some kind of breaker panel so that we can turn them on and off all at the same time. Yeah, the breaker panel doesn't make noise, so put them inside the compound somewhere. Uh, that's gonna be a really good update, so we can just camp. I mean, we can trap the breaker panel. 
star, but players have to destroy them now manually if they prefer the darkness. In addition, there are a lot of notable smaller balance changes and improvements coming with update 115 to round things up. Fusies, flare pistols and star shells can now... Okay, this changes things. See, I always bring a fuse, fuses or, or a flare pit pistol, but they were exclusively for the uh for the mobs now we can since we can burn hunters with the fuses i'm gonna carry two nades instead of one molotov see my molotov usually is, is exclusively for burning hunters now that now that i can burn hunters with the fuses wait does that mean the uh flare shot from the uh lemat can also burn hunters ignite down hunters you can now move the camera while vaulting making it easier to engage targets around corners okay that's carrying good. a bounty token now grants a passive instinct effect showing that's really nice you see when you run out of the uh, dark side uh having the bounty is really just a negative now at least they have something to scan even you even even though you don't have uh dark side anymore that enemies are around within 75 meters regardless of any remaining dark side boost seconds decoy fuses now detonate a weak ex finally finally we can use uh i think i'm gonna change my loadout again so my tool loadout will be melee weapon a uh, med kit uh a fuses or a flare gun and then maybe this uh decoy since we can destroy doors and also i'm not gonna bring the choke bomb anymore maybe maybe we're just gonna switch to decoys explosive that can destroy window shutters and doors for added utility elevators are now moving at double their speed making them safer to operate oh finally uh you know what the elevators they were so freaking slow you're you were a sitting target using them the derringer penny shop now has an extra two shot okay that's really good yeah i'm i'm still not gonna use the derringer penny shot it the range and chance to hit is pretty low even at close range but having an extra ammo for it that's actually pretty good shells capacity lightfoot no longer suppresses jump sounds but I didn't know Lightfoot can suppress jump sounds. Still helps with vaulting and ladders, and it's now one upgrade point cheaper for a total of five. So they they nerfed it and made it cheaper. That's good. Five upgrade points. Many more changes you can read up in the full patch notes. We are looking forward to hear your thoughts on update 115 and Tide of Desolation and hope you are having a blast with this new version of Hunt Showdown. Make sure to check out our other videos detailing okay. the Tide of Desolation. So, so far, so what, what I've seen that big is really good i like the i like the workbench i like that we can burn hunters with the fuses so i'm, I'm actually looking forward to this uh like and subscribe see you again next time bye guys